great day, grade 10. It's another day of learning and fun experience with your teacher and daughter, Mama Reese. Join me in discovering English around us. Have your self-learning module and pen ready with you. Looking back at our previous lesson, we learned that an essay uses a point of view to oppose in an argument. This point of view can either be in a form of facts or opinion. Now differentiate fact from opinion. Read each sentence carefully and write F if it states a fact and O if it states an opinion. Ready? Number 1. Fishball is one of the popular street foods in the Philippines. F. Number 2. Food is a huge part of Filipino culture. F. Number 3. The Filipino family goes to church together. F. The Philippines is influenced by the Spanish people. F. Number 5. In the Filipino family tradition, the eldest male usually starts the meal. Oh. Always remember that fact is something you can prove to be either true or false, and you can change it. While opinion is how a person or thing feels about something, and you can change it. Go. In today's lesson, we will learn about composing an argumentative essay. Specifically, you are expected to determine how claim is formulated and differentiate between claims of fact, policy, and value. Are you ready? Before we proceed, answer first these questions. Number 1. Statements below are characteristics of an argumentative essay. Which statements does not belong? A. It requires the writer to investigate the topic. B. It collects, generates, and evaluates evidence. C. It requires heavy phrases and dialogues. Or D. It narrates a story. Number 2. The main purpose of an argumentative essay is to narrate a personal experience. Is it true or false? Number 3. It is the writer's or speaker's position on an issue, the central statement of a text. Is it A. Truth? B. Evidence? C. Claim? Or D. Source? Number 4. It talks about the goodness or badness of something. A. Claim of fact. B. Claim of policy. Or C. Claim of value. And number 5. It is a fact or information indicating whether a belief is true or valid. A. Truth B. Evidence C. Claim or D. Source Do you know where I am now? You're right. I'm inside the trial court. 
about this time? Where am I? Yes, I'm in a debate program. What do you think is common on places where I've been? Yes, to places I've been in a trial court and in a debate program both carry out an argument on a certain issue. An argument is an attempt to persuade someone on a topic open to debate. It can be done either orally, like oral debate and open forum, or written, like expository writing and argumentative essay. Today, we will focus on composing an argumentative essay by first learning how to formulate a genre in writing that requires the writer to investigate a topic is an argumentative essay. It allows the writer to collect, generate, and evaluate evidence. Also, it requires heavy phrases and dialogues. There are some important characteristics our argument should have. This includes persuasiveness and logical reasoning. One characteristic is the essay must present and explain the issue. An issue is something that has at least two sides. An idea that can be debated. For example, lifting Metro Manila from alert level 2 to level 1 restrictions or an issue about dropping the compulsory wearing of face masks on places under alert level 1. Another characteristic of an argumentative essay is that it should give reasons and supports to prove its point. For example, if you claim that you are in favor of lifting Metro Manila from alert level 2 to level 1 restrictions, you might say that one of your reasons is that more establishments may be able to operate, so more jobs could be back to operations as well, which would be a benefit to people. So you see, whenever we give our reasons whether we are pro or against the issue, we should present evidences or logical reasoning to prove and support our point. Evidences are facts or information indicating whether a belief is true or valid. Evidence could also be the specific references, quotations, examples, and opinions that support a claim. This can be obtained by doing a thorough investigation and research from reliable sources. The argumentative essay should also prove that opposing arguments are wrong by stating a counterclaim or counterargument. Example, if the issue is which pet is better, a cat or a dog? Other says that dogs are better pets than cats because they are more social. But you argue that cats are better pets because they are more self-sufficient. Your claim or position then is a counter-argument to that of the other. Counter-argument is an argument made to oppose another argument. We call it refute. To refute is to disprove a statement or theory. Now that you have knowledge about argumentative essay and its characteristics, try to answer this activity. Identify whether the statements present issue, reason with support, or refute opposing argument. Number 1. It is unreasonable to trust religion or belief 
because it forms non-ideal concepts about the environment. It's reason with support. Number two, the immortality of the soul is a combination of mental entity, intellectual, and moral qualities. This is stated by Plato before the common era as he entered Judaism. It presents an issue. Number three, how do these scholars predict the Day of Judgment? While there is no proof that this day will come, they have written testaments which are until now the subject for debates. Refute Opposing Argument Number 4 Plato argued that the soul is inherently indestructible. According to him, its constituent refers to soul as mental entity. Yes, it's reason with support. And number five, Thomas Aquinas tried to state a counterclaim. He insisted that the soul is also a form of our body. Alright, it refutes opposing argument. Did you get all five correct answers? Very good. We can say that arguments and opinions are everywhere. We can hear it with some friends sharing their views on controversial issues. Have you heard a politician convincing you to vote for them and they explain why they deserve your vote or an advertisement claiming that a certain product can solve your problem because of a reasonable explanation. I bet you too have your own claim on some current issues, am I right? But what is a claim? Let's explore more to know what and how to formulate Claim for our argumentative essay. What should students do to obtain quality education at this time of COVID-19 pandemic? Is wearing face masks necessary for all people? Why or why not? Is it crime to post on social media threats to the life of the president? You make a claim if you answer those three questions. A claim, or the writer's or speaker's position on an issue, is an important element of an argument. A claim is your opinion on a controversial issue. Remember that your opinion cannot be wrong, and the only way you can mess up is to poorly support your opinion. But how are we going to formulate a claim? This is by considering the three differentiated types of claim, namely the claim of fact, policy, and value. Let's have the claim of fact. How we will know that you are stating a claim of fact? Claim of fact tells us about the truthfulness or falsehood of something whether something is true or untrue. But there must always be potential for controversy, conflict, and change. This is the claim that reports, describes, predicts, and shows cause and effect. It also a claim that something has existed, exists, or will exist. Is it crime to post on social media a threat to the life of the president? The answer is either yes or no, right? If you answer any of this, you are claiming a fact because you are telling them that it is true or false.
that posting on social media a threat is a crime or not? And your answer will become convincing if you provide a logical reason and the evidence. That is a claim of fact. On the other hand, the claim of value asks you about the merit or the goodness or badness of something. Here, you are usually asked to choose between things, ideas, beliefs, or actions, and explain why you do so. Example, is wearing face masks necessary for all people? Why or why not? If you answer this question, you are stating a claim of value. Because a claim of value gives judgment about morality, beauty, merit, and wisdom. A claim that is based on preference such as likes or dislikes, good or bad. That is why when we say it's nice that the establishment uh, operators can now open their stores to accommodate a higher number of customers. We are claiming a value statement here because we are stating the goodness of something using the word nice. The last type of claim is the claim of policy. Claim of policy explains what should be done on a certain issue. It urged that an action can be taken or discontinued in specific policies. It shows as well that a problem exists and it's good to solve it in a certain way. Take note of the keyword which is usually should or any equivalent. For example, answering the question, what should students do? To obtain quality education this time of COVID-19 pandemic. If you have the answer on this, that is a claim of policy. Because your answer could be an action to be taken, isn't it? Or things that should be done, right? There you go. The three differentiated types of claim should be considered in writing an argumentative essay. Now let's do checking what you have understood. Read each statement and tell whether you agree or disagree. Number one, Christianity is a religion that based on their doctrines according to Jesus Christ believes in life, teachings, and death. This statement is a claim of value. Disagree? Very good, because this is actually a claim of fact. Number two, people are considered Christians if they love their neighbors. This statement is a claim of value. Correct. Agree. Number three, Christians believe that their only Messiah is Jesus Christ. This statement is a claim of fact. Agree. That is the correct answer. Number four. Those who help others are recognized as Christians. This statement is a claim of policy. Disagree? Yes, because it's a claim of value. Number five. Christians should submit their spirituality to their Savior Jesus Christ. This statement is a claim of policy. If you agree that this is a statement of policy, you are correct. Remember, an argumentative essay is a type of writing that presents an assertion or an argument. This type of essay uses persuasive claims of fact, value, and policy. To determine the characteristic of an argumentative essay, 
it is important to recognize the forms of issues stated in the text, logical reasons and supports, and the signals that refute the opposing arguments. Good job, grade 10! What a day of learning and fun experience with your teacher explorer, Mom Marie. Join me in discovering English around us. See you next meeting as we continue exploring how to propose an argumentative essay. Bye for now.